Hi everyone! So today, we are going to talk about problem solving involving fractions. So for our first example, we have three partners share a business. Sophie owns three-fifth, Isaiah owns one-eighth, and Rihanna owns the rest. If the profit this year is 2,700,000, how much will each partner receive? So, what do we do with this question? So, first, let's write down our... So, we have the total, which is 2,700,000. And then, Sophie owns 3 fifths of that. Isaiah owns 1 eighth of that. And for Rihanna, it's 1 minus 3 fifths plus 1 eighth. So, why did this happen? Basically, ang sinasabi sa atin dito, so doon sa kabuuan na 2,700,000, ibabawas mo yung kay Sophie at kay Isaya para makuha mo yung kay Rihanna. So, Rihanna's part is the 11 over 40. So, yan yung part niya. And then, you could just do this. So, the total subtracted by how much Sophie and Isaya got. So, either of the two, pwede niyong gamitin. So, let's see on the next slide how we will do it. So, for Sophie, you just have to multiply 2,700,000 by 3 fifth, And we would get 1,620,000. So, yung 1,620,000 na yan, yan yung 3 fifth no pera nila. So, ibig sabihin, yan ang mapupunta kay Sophie. So, the same procedure... For Isaiah, so you have 2,700,000 times 1,8 kasi 1,8 lang daw yung kanya. And that would give us 337,500. And lastly, for Rihanna, katulad ng sinabi ko, pwedeng gawin niya to, yung imumultiply niya lang yung 11 over 40 sa 2,700,000 or isusubtract niya lang yung kinita ni Sophie at ni Isaiah para makuha yung total ni Rihanna. So, we will be doing both. So, total, 2,700,000 subtracted by the money of Sophie and the money of Isaiah. So, that would give us 742,500. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mapupunta kay Rihanna. To double check, gamitin naman natin yung 11 over 40. So, dito sa una, 742,500. So, kapag minutiply naman natin si 2,700,000 ng 11 over 40, we would still get 742,500. So, they are just the same. So, therefore, how much will each partner receive? Sophie will get 1,620,000. Isaiah will get 337,500 337, and Rihanna would get 742,500. So it's actually very easy as long as you know what the given are. Next one. For this one, Sophia earns 2 and 3 fifth times as much as Leia. So, 2 and 3 fifth times, ibig sabihin, doble. Kasi 2 times, eh, 2 na, may 3 fifth pa. So, almost 3 times. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung kinikita niya. If Sophia earns 20,410 per month, how much does Leia earn per month? So, ibig sabihin, yung sweldo ni Leia, 2 and 3 fifth nun, yun yung sweldo ni Sophia. So, ibig sabihin, Leia times 2 and 3 fifth is equal to yung sweldo ni Sophia. So, kapag binaliktad natin yan, mapupunta siya dito. Ibig sabihin, yung kay Leia is equal to Sophia divided by 2 and 3 
So this is our given. So we divide 20,410 divided by 2 and 3 fifth. So you can turn 2 and 3 fifth into a mix. Uh, this is a mixed number. You can turn it into an improper fraction for you to easily compute the problem. So it will become 13 over 5. So you can now proceed with multiplication. So reciprocal, you get 20,410 times 5 and 13 times 5 over 13, and then ito, pwede nyo siya i-divide. So, 20,410 divided by 13 is 1,570 times 5. And then, 1,570 times 5 is 7,850. So, ibig sabihin, ang nakukuha ni Leia Bonbon is 7,850. So, that is Leia's earning per month. So, that would be all for problem solving and I hope that you learned something new. So, if you have any questions, clarifications regarding our lesson, don't hesitate to ask me. So that would be all for today and thank you very much.